Okay, so first of all, I had to let that beat ride because it's been so long since I heard that music, did this intro, whatever. And I want to thank everyone listening right now, even through this long hiatus I took. I'll be explaining all of that soon, but thank you guys for watching. But right now, we got to talk about the Cavs. This season for Cleveland, it's just been an up and down roller coaster. They started this season extremely shaky, going five and seven, where everyone, including me, were pointing out how big Kyrie's loss was. Then around November, December, they shut everyone up by winning 13 straight games. And I think a total of like 18 out of 19. I mean, they were balling. LeBron said d -Way should win six men of the year. They look extremely good right there. But then as we know, around the new year, I think IT came back and played Portland. They looked good for about a night or two. But then everything basically started falling apart. IT was taking so many ill-advised shots. LeBron James was celebrating leaving IT out before he got traded. It was just a lot of you know BS going on. So this season seemed like it was taking a turn for the worst again. But through all their storms, everything they went through, they still managed to be the third seed, which they're kind of holding on to barely because Philly, they're right on their ass. I mean, they're the third seed right now, but Philly, they just went 12 straight and they have the same record. But through all the storms, they're still the third seed. And basically, it's because of the consistency of LeBron James. Now, me personally, I don't even think Cleveland, I don't think they're a guaranteed pick out of the East like, you know, the years prior with Kyrie and all that stuff. Because one, I'm just not big on this roster. I know they have a lot of complimentary players and role players, but if they meet Philly and if Kyrie Irving possibly comes back, I'm not sure if Cleveland can just get past them like years prior because LeBron is one man and they, they they haven't shown me enough consistency this year to actually believe they can just dominate like they did last year going like 12 and one in the East. But if they do get back to the NBA Finals, and you know I don't know why I'm saying like that's a big if, like it's some type of stretch. LeBron's been seven straight times. If they do get back, whatever. They're going to need two things on their side in order for them to actually win it and LeBron to get his fourth ring. And that's going to be one, Kevin Love has to be a superstar. And when I say superstar, I'm not talking about, you know, a complimentary star to LeBron James being able to catch and shoot threes. I'm talking about he's going to kind of have to revert back to the Minnesota Timberwolves, Kevin Love, in order for them to be dominant and actually beat a Western Conference team. People have to remember, I know Kevin Love, he catches a lot of flack and a lot of hate because people say his points in Cleveland, they're not effective. He doesn't really do anything against Golden State. And I kind of concur with that because sometimes it seems like he just scores and it's not effective. And it's not really his fault. It just feels like that. But you got to remember back in Minnesota, Kevin Love averaged 23-13 on 45% from the field in his last four seasons. I mean, he was a perennial all-star dominating. I mean, a starting all-star. I don't know if any of you guys remember, but I remember it was a game against OKC back then when Kevin Love played for Minnesota. They lost, but he had like 51 points, 17 rebounds. They went to like three overtimes. He was literally going ballistic, and he was just that type of dude. I mean, he was on pace for historic numbers, and he was going to be like one of the greats. I mean, they weren't winning, but he was just putting up crazy numbers at least. And I know some of you guys are probably saying, I mean, that was like five or six years ago. He's not going to just switch back into that guy again. And, you know, I actually get that, but he's going to have to at least have that type of mindset to take some of the load off LeBron. He can't, LeBron can't play 40, 41, 42 minutes a night and expect to win against these Western Conference teams and some of these upcoming Eastern teams. It's just not going to happen. I mean, just think about it. In the Eastern Conference, LeBron James this season, he's played in every single game. And they've only won 48. I'm not saying like that's bad or anything like that. But he played every single game like 38 minutes a night. And they still lost 30 games. So, he, I mean, LeBron James is going to need some help. He's not the type of player right now in this stage of his career where he can just do everything offensively and defensively. And they're going to win games. No, he's going to need help from his other All-Star. But, you know, the second thing the Cavs are going to need to win a championship or even compete this season and this is probably going to sound extremely wrong, but it's just facts. I Man, I got to give you guys the facts. They're going to need the injury gods or at least the luck gods on their side. In my opinion, and, you know, this is just me, if Kyrie Irving were still on this exact same roster right now with Cleveland, I think they can possibly beat Golden State or at least challenge them a little further, you know, than they did last year. But this roster, they're not beating Golden State with this roster if, you know, if Stephen Curry is healthy. Now, this Golden State team, this is the best team that I've personally ever seen. But this year, I think they're as vulnerable as it's going to get for a team like this. Their most important player, Stephen Curry, 
he's had in a very unfortunate season with these injuries. And if he missed the first round, like, you know, Steve Kerr said he probably will, they're going to be in a dogfight with a seed like Minnesota or OKC, and that's going to be pretty dangerous. So, you know, my point is, if Golden State somehow gets knocked off, maybe even early, which I don't think will happen, but if that could happen, if they get knocked out early, if they're in a dog fight and they run into a team in the second round and they're tired from the first round and they lose, or if they just see you know see a team like Houston and Stephen Curry is not 100% and they lose, oh my goodness, that's going to be very good for LeBron. I'm pretty sure as good as Houston is, LeBron would way rather see Houston rather than Golden State because Golden State, they don't just beat Cleveland because they out-talent them. I mean, that's a big part, but it's the psychological effect that they have over them because they've been beating their asses for like the last two years, you know, so uh, at least a year and a half, whatever. So that's why they're kind of beating them. I mean, Draymond Green, Stephen Curry, you know, taking a dump on the court, all that stuff. It's the psychological effect. Houston, they're not proven. James Harden, he plays by the whistle. So if some of those calls don't go his way, CP3, he, you know, he's had his misfortunes. Mike D'Antoni, everybody knows how he's been in the playoffs. I mean, LeBron James, he could possibly beat that team. So, you know, that's just my take. I think for Cleveland to possibly win an NBA Finals and, you know, LeBron James to win his fourth, I think it's very unlikely in my personal opinion because the West is just so loaded and I just don't trust a team full of role players and, and Kevin Love and obviously the best player on the planet, LeBron James. It's going to take more than that in this NBA. I mean, teams are power with stars, so it's just not going to happen. That's just my opinion, guys. Tell me, guys, yeah, you know how you feel in the comment section. I'm sorry I've been gone. I love you guys. Everyone that's been supporting me and hit me on all my social medias. By the way, follow me on my social medias. I'm back active on them because I kind of took a break from them as well. Follow me on all my social media, guys. Do all that great stuff. And until next time, guys, I am back. I'm staying this time. Until next time, guys, stay tuned, stay Jay. Tuned, Jay. I got so much beef, I can barely sleep. Paranoia you got me losing on my Z's all day. Good luck, mama praying on the knees all day. If you still frightened when I up it, I'ma squeeze. Bad companies, bad for your company. Bad companies, bad for your company. 